Lucero. And he has a very excellent uh, program. Uh, I really like to watch his videos because he really gets down to the nitty gritty. Um, and some people don't like his style, but I really like it. Uh, anyway, uh, the thing with him is, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, well, I'm going to end it there. I'm just let it go to there. Okay, got to move this one. All right. So anyway, um, I wanted you to see his channel, uh, El Chapucero, if you want to join. Um, I guess he's got a link right there. Let me see. Oh, and he sells some caps and and some um, shirts that say Me Canso Ganso, which is a, like um, a slogan that AMLO uses all the time. If I'm dying, if I'm lying, I'm dying kind of thing, you know. But it means, it, it just doesn't translate uh, translate as well. It says uh, Me Canso, which means um, if I, I get tired, and then Ganso is uh, a goose. But in English, it rhyme. I'm sorry, it doesn't rhyme. And then, it's, uh, but it kind of means like if I'm lying, I'm dying, or you know, if I said so, it's gonna happen, or something like that. Uh, so it's uh, it's kind of cute. But anyway, he sells those. He's got his business, um, and you can look up his uh, channel. And uh, maybe I should uh, let me let me get his. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could find his video. Here it is. Uh, copy. I'm gonna copy his link. And I'm going to add it to the uh, to the um, credits for the uh, video when it comes time to do so. So let me just get to. Uh, so this is I use uh, this is just so you guys know, I use this um, uh, Google Docs in order to do my data collection, and then um, I'm going to just put his name there, and that's uh, Mr. Oh, Chapucero. Chapucero's video. I'm not even grammatically correcting it or whatever. But anyway, so I'm going to get back to um, uh, what this one. Okay, so um, I want to make sure I add that later and I don't want to lose it. Okay, so this uh, here he's talking about um, how, uh, and he was the first one that I heard mention that the DEA had been involved in the uh, situation uh, with uh, Sinaloa, that it was all a D D DEA uh, fiasco. Um, and uh, they kind of did it behind the back of the uh, president, which really made him angry, apparently. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to let him explain it. And he's going to explain it in uh, uh, Spanish. I'll explain it in English. I'll translate for him. But on that bottom part, it says, AMLO expulsa al DEA por el fiasco de Culiacán, which is what I translated above. And then it says the United, the United States gets mad and um, they uh, sent someone to threaten him. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it and I'll translate. Ante el fiasco que resultó Culiacán, que fue un operativo planeado y ejecutado por... So after the... Um, uh, fiasco that happened in Culiacán, which was an oper operation that was planned and executed by DEA, the DEA. This is a United States agency drogas. that is against drugs. El tomó la the president made the decision or took the decision de a la DEA. to expel the DEA. De cortar bastante la relación. And to cut uh, very much or severely the relations with them. De cooperación de and with, uh, to cut the relation of uh, cooperation um, with them. Con Estados Unidos. Uh, with, and security with the United States. Limitar también la acción de la CIA y de la embajada. And also to limit the... Uh, actions of the CIA and the Unidos, and the embassy of the US lo que ha a, which now has caused or brought forth a los a al López. so this caused the US to threaten the president the Mexican president AMLO 
So because even today the Secretary of State reproached the, the Mexican President Obrador uh, for not including him in the new anti-crime uh, plan that they have uh, for organized crime. So Abraz would say there was a time that existed before and a time that exists now in Culiacán. And that's the case. There was a time that the before was when the DA was still in charge. Which still, it still had uh, some uh, uh, strength in there or power or that they were able to somehow uh, put their two cents in there. Uh, but actually not two cents, it was in great measure, he says. And then afterwards that, since they were expelled, and they limit them. And now, Obrador said very much, now they're um, respecting our sovereignty, or the sovereignty. And so, including today, the president said, and he spoke hardly in very harsh tone, against the uh, officials in the North American area. So here we're seeing how this, uh, this parting of ways is being done and how this expulsion is happening one way or in a different way from the uh, DEA and other state uh, American uh, state agencies uh, again, or that were involved with our country. Because today, uh, I was very surprised. And we have been commenting on this for quite some time. Since last Friday. Of where the matter that uh, happened in Sinaloa. And by the way, he did uh, make a video, I think it was on Friday, discussing that it was the DEA involvement that had caused the problems in Sinaloa. And he says, I commented on it. And I kept saying, it's the DEA, it's the DEA. And I said, they were the responsible parties, the great responsible parties. And all of a sudden today, it's like, whoa. And now Reforma, which is like our inquirer in Mexico. The Universal, another one that's kind of like a inquirer. All of a sudden they discover la participación the participation that was secret. La idea, no and he's like, come on now. It's very well known, even in the World Wide Web. But the interesting part, even though, is and that we must recall what was the participation. So let's go to some notes here. That uh, and and I'm probably gonna I'm gonna read it first because then when he reads it, he's gonna remove it. So he says in the. Um, a uh, democratic uh, group, um, there they have been uh, circulating the thesis that the operation for the capture of the son of Chapo failed because of information that was given to the uh, armed forces by the by the to the armed forces uh, was incorrect. That information uh, uh, sh came to say that it was a reaccommodation of power internal internal power in the uh, cartel in Sinaloa and that uh, the due to that there was going to be movement of Ovidio uh, and it was a uh, that it was going to be an easy uh, grasp uh, that error explained the Democrats is what um, caused or sustained uh, what um, the concierge um, and Donald Trump 
uh, of Donald Trump said um, to the government, the Mexican government, this weekend. Uh, the president uh, would have responded furiously, but rapidly uh, recognized the role of the agency in the U.S., and he preferred to uh, send signals of uh, friendship and his uh, a typical promise of, uh, and they gave the typical promising of um, ending or helping to uh, slow down the influx of arms to Mexico. Que ha circulado desde hace rato. Por ejemplo, la política online. La DEA participó, según este sitio, este, en la eh, inteligencia. Dice, en la bancada demócrata de Estados Unidos se fue la tesis de que el operativo para la captura del hijo falló porque la información entregada de la DEA a las Fuerzas Armadas Mexicanas fue incorrecta. Esa información vendría a decir que había un reacomodo de poder interno en el cártel de Sinaloa y que tras ese movimiento Ovidio era un blanco fácil. O sea, la DEA participó de entrada en la recolección de información e inteligencia y se la proporcionó al gobierno mexicano. Pero no solo eso, también ha empezado a trascender de que incluso no estuvo informado el gobierno mexicano. En este... Not only that, but the Mexican government was not informed. Not even the state, which he finds hard to believe. It seems a bit strange, but okay. So regarding the operation. So it says there that up to now it's not clear what uh, the... Uh, United States agency could have uh, the role they could have played Para el de in the control of drugs. But what they actually saw was that it was more of an intervention uh, operative uh, operation. Del cual no estaba enterado ni el gobierno federal ni el estatal según declaran ambas partes. Of which neither the uh, government nor the state of Mexico was informed. En otras palabras, la DEA so in other words, the DEA planeó y planned and executed el operativo the operation contra la de los hijos in order to detain the, the sons y no le informó ni a Obrador. And did not inform Obrador. Y él lo ha por si and he confirmed that as a certainty. Y si dicen que no le a Quirino, ¿sí? And he also did not inform Quirino, which is the uh, state governor. Medio extraño, pero bueno. Which seems a bit strange to him. So he says, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Vamos a dar la que no le a so let's give the version that he did not inform Quirino. Because a lot of people think that Quirino was involved. So he says the governor of uh, Sinaloa, which means that La DEA llegó a Mexico, so this means that the DEA came to Mexico y como si en Mexico, as if though they operated in Mexico, todo esto, organized this whole thing, que acabó en un fiasco. Uh, this whole operation that ended in a fiasco, failure. Y después de que generó el and then after they generated this problem, problema, ya entró López Obrador. and then López Obrador went in, entró el ejército en, and then the military went in, la Pública, and then the security of public safety went in, Durazo, and Durazo went in, a componer, y la única forma, in order to repair the damage, componerlo, and the only way to repair the damage was to liberate him, al hijo. to liberate the son, finally, Del Capo. The, the son of El Chapo. Esto creo que ya está más que claro, pero and this, I believe, is becoming uh, more than clear now. Aún así, but even so, ¿qué pasó? Bueno, de what happened? Después de este fiasco, well, then, after this fiasco, que vemos que la DEA en México, that we can see that the DEA uh, formed in Mexico, 
without letting the president know, el que the president himself signaled si una de Trump. that he received a call from Trump. So here he says, and I'm going to read it to you in uh, English. I received a call from President Trump expressing his solidarity for the uh, things that happened in Culiacán. And I appreciate the respect uh, for our sovereignty and his um, uh, goodwill towards maintaining politics of a good neighbor and sustaining the cooperation for the development and well-being of our people. En su tweet, recibí llamada del presidente Trump expresando su solidaridad por los hechos de Culiacán. ¿No? O sea, después de que ya estaba ¿no? ahogado el niño. So after um, they had already, and they say ahogado el niño, which means drown the baby. No, intentó Trump tapar el pozo. Then uh, Trump attempted to cover up that water hole. Le agradezco el respeto a nuestra soberanía y su voluntad para mantener una política buena vecindad. Esta palabra soberanía, el presidente de la mañana la ha repetido una... So this word, sovereignty, the president has repeated many, many times. Una y otra y otra vez. And again o sea, and again. Porque... So this is important. Esta palabra radica lo siguiente. Because this word in, indicates this thing. Radica la expulsión de agentes estadounidenses de México which indicates the expulsion of uh, U.S. Uh, um, agencies. Por eso insiste, una y otra vez, el respeto a nuestra soberanía. And that's why he um, uh, insists on our sovereignty and respect. Abrad lo puso más claro. So Abrad, uh, the concierge, the uh, foreign relations guy, he put it a little more clear. He wrote, um, the uh, meeting uh, concluded that was uh, requested by the Secretary of Security, Alfonso Durazo, uh, uh, with uh, the ambassador of the United States and his um, team um, to stop or freeze trafficking illicit arms uh, to Mexico. And um, before and after the call on Saturday, before the uh, president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, uh, regarding this matter. El, el, también la propia llamada señaló, habrá un antes y un después de la llamada del sábado entre los presidentes Obrador y Trump en esta materia. Hablan de, de armas, pero también habla claro de la cooperación y la participación. So they're talking about a uh, time before and after the call, but he says there's going to be a uh, discussion about uh, the cooperation and the arms de la DEA y las uh, between the DEA, CIA y la de the CIA, CIA and embassy. En asuntos mexicanos. Uh, getting involved in Mexican matters. Esto and this infuriated the, the United States. Los gringos, muy, Obviously, the gringos, which are the American people, muy, muy, este, muy, eh, eh, le la al de Peña, de because in the past they were they had an open door policy. Uh, from uh, the government of Peña Nieto, Calderon and Fox, and they were allowed to do whatever they wanted in Mexico. And Obrador closes that door. And they were not expecting this. Oh, okay, so he found something else. Okay, so it says, the Department of the United States urged Mexico to press... Uh, uh, to present an anti-crime uh, strategy by Richard Glenn, Subsecretary of the United States uh, for Narcotic uh, International. Uh, the application of the law from the United States advised 
that they didn't uh, know which was the strategy that the administration of Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador was looking to implant, uh, uh, implement in this area. At these times, uh, it is of major importance that Mexico develop and share uh, with us what their uh, uh, strategy is uh, to confront crime, organized crime. Entonces, el día de ayer, la Secretaría de Estado de Estados Unidos, en particular el alto funcionario Richard Glenn, subsecretario de Estado. So this was the subsecretary Glenn from uh, from the United States. Junto para narcóticos internacionales, señaló que no conocen cuál es la estrategia de obrador en la materia de narco. So they signaled that they didn't know what the strategy was uh, of obrador uh, anti narcotics. En este momento dice lo que es de mayor importancia es que México desarrolle y comparta con nosotros una estrategia integral. So they're you know demanding that Mexico uh, share with them an integral um, plan for anti-narcotic trafficking Para confrontar el crimen. so that they can confront crime. So they're uh, claiming something about Merida, which is something I'm going to research. I'm not really familiar with that Merida plan, but apparently it's something that uh, the U.S. has been giving money to to Mexico, um, and I think it's supposed to be uh, to fight um, drugs and and crime. So they're demanding from Mexico that they get to participate in the anti-crime uh, war. Vamos a escuchar de todos modos este momento porque también aquí lo tengo. So let's listen to this um, here because I have uh, this moment here on, on the, this video. Este, el rastre, el momento en donde el presidente, el chairman, Mr. Sires, ¿no? Que es el, so the chairman, Mr. Sires. El, de, el comité o subcomité de asuntos exteriores. Uh, is the subcommittee of uh, foreign uh, relations. So he starts to reflect over the uh, Merida uh, thing. They said, yes, it's a failure. They've spent a lot of money. $2,000 million. And that nothing's happened in Mexico. Y en ese momento, en la respuesta de este, el funcionario secretario de Estado. And then here's the response from the other official. Precisamente dice esto, que, bueno, es que México, pues, no, no, las autoridades mexicanas no comparten con nuestra información, ¿no? So they're saying that Mexico doesn't share the information with them. No quieren meter, no quieren tampoco, en, este, dar, decirle cuál es la estrategia mexicana. Vamos a escuchar. And they don't want to tell us what the strategy is in Mexico. I'm going to talk a little bit about something that's, that's very bothersome to me. Yo quiero hablar un poquito uh, sobre algo que me molesta bastante. I remember the Merida Initiative. I, uh, well, it's on there. I remember, oh my God, I'm translating the English. I'm so silly. <laughs> the Spanish is there. I guess this will go. I'm right. crazy. We have invested close to two billion dollars in Mexico on the Merida Initiative, <laughs> and the homicide rate in August was the <laughs> highest on record. Is it worth it? Continue to invest money in Mexico? I mean, the other day I saw that the Sinaloa took over a town of a million people. And we basically, and Mexico basically walked away. That's very disturbing to me. Yeah, so get the DEA out of there. Made it our initiative <laughs> right from the beginning. Where are we with this uh, made it our initiative? Es importante hablar, le voy a dar pausa a la iniciativa media porque de aquí desprende toda la estrategia y la guerra contra el narco. So it's very important to understand the uh, Merida Initiative because this is where the whole situation happens with uh, narcotics uh, trafficking. 
It's related to the initiative, Merida initiative. And he's saying, and he has all the reason. So all this money that we're sending, we're, what's going on with it? And nothing's happened. And we can see how the uh, uh, state is defending that. Uh, specifically the war against narcotics because for them it's a great big business and then at that moment he speaks about the Mexican government first if I may I, I want to recognize uh, and, and thank uh, the, the many members of Mexican law enforcement uh, and military who, who wear the uniform uh, and who are patriots uh, to their nation and who are dedicated to the fight uh, against transnational organized crime. They are there. Many of them are, are personal friends of mine and our respected colleagues and associates. Uh, they are passionate about the work that they do. Uh, they believe in upholding the rule of law. Um, and one of the things that we have been able to do through the Merit Initiative uh, is to equip uh, and build uh, their capacity to be able to confront organized crime. Uh, we know that they're capable. We know because we helped build that capacity. Oh, sure. As I mentioned in my testimony, I think what is, is of greatest importance at this moment uh, is, that, is that Mexico develop uh, and share with us uh, a comprehensive strategy to confront transnational organized crime. Uh, without that strategy uh, and without us knowing what that strategy is and being able to match uh, our funding uh, and our abilities with, with their strategic direction, uh, we, we won't see progress. Um, but obviously, the, the events of last week were very, uh, very concerning to us. But it's been 10 years that we've been giving money to this initiative, and we still don't have a plan to deal with international. Is that what you're telling me? I think what we need to see is a greater, politi uh, a greater political commitment from, uh, from, from the highest levels of government in Mexico. Ahí tenés. Entonces, habla el funcionario del Departamento de Estado, hablando claro. So then the uh, official from the state uh, speaks and says, de que este gobierno no les ya permite. ¿no? So he's from the DEA, from the CIA, and he's saying now this government doesn't permit us now. Que participen en la estrategia anticrimen. To participate in the anti-crime uh, strategy. Not even in the design. Because they want to continue financing it. And they want to continue with a, a war against drugs. That they've been cut off and that they're waiting. And they're pressuring uh, Andres Manuel for a more commitment. And in another interesting part of this video that signals out or um, stands out, that a testimony that is put there by Reforma, that the 3rd of uh, October that just passed, so um, that the uh, Pentagon and the DEA um, had traveled on the 3rd of October to, uh, to the Mexican uh, government to... So that they could share with them the anti-crime strategy. And they didn't give it to them, obviously, according to that testimony. But in any case, you can see that, that they're bothered because Obrador has cut them off. Of course, after what happened in Sinaloa, in the, with the fiasco, uh, in Culiacán, it's even less. And so the president responded today and he said, you know, okay. no deben los a los the um, 
um, officials in the U.S. should not be getting involved in en asuntos mexicanos. in matters of Mexico. Dice, de mal gusto He says it's in bad taste. Pero, con respecto a la soberanía, But in respect to sovereignty de cada país, of every country, no deben funcionarios de otros países. So officials uh, from other countries should not Opinar. give their opinion Sobre asuntos internos. regarding internal matters que solo corresponden that only correspond or belong a nuestro gobierno. to our government. Es hasta de mal gusto hacerlo. It's even in bad taste to do so. Que yo Imagine if I were to declare de que está mal la estrategia que sigue en Estados Unidos that it, the strategy that they follow in the U.S. is bad because they permit Sin control. without control La venta de armas. the sale of arms que se introducen a México that are introduced into Mexico in order to cause the death de of civilians. He says a um, break or uh, coming apart. He goes, it's not so clear, but it is. ¿Qué So what has happened? Well, the DEA sí, informed. They, in, they uh, informed López Obrador that they've been uh, cut off and they've been expulsed. So here it says the uh, ex-chief uh, of the DEA, AMLO, oh, said, AMLO uh, has um, made a pact with the devil and now the uh, the narcotics uh, traffickers are in charge. Because they were upset that AMLO let uh, the son of Chapo go, when in fact, if he hadn't, there would have been a lot of Mexican bloodshed. For what? For a feather in, in uh, the American cap? But he doesn't think that it, he's talking only about that they let him go free. So the son of Chapo. And the reason they say Capo is because apparently there's some kind of a problem with the... Uh, There's this agency uh, that prevents them from saying certain words um, uh, on the internet, and uh, that and Chapo is one of them. You know, porque a ellos los están limitando. Because they are now being limited. Vaya, otro funcionario, Mike Vigil, el ex encargado de la DEA. So another functioning official that used to be in charge of the DEA. Uh, said uh, the, the following. He said, the government of Mexico doesn't say the, the truth about the arrest of Ovidio Guzman uh, was, uh, was uh, what he said. And this is uh, Mike Vigil. So they're getting more and more in, uh, involved in the matters. As you can, uh, we're finding out. And they have threatened the president, which is. So you know what they have said? How they have um, uh, threatened the president? 
cometiste un delito. They said you made, did a crime. Porque agarras a un criminal que because you captured a criminal que lo libre. and then you allowed him to go free. No, eso es un delito. And that is a crime. And they said it via the voice uh, boxes of the PAN group. De and also threats from the United States. ¿Y qué and what did Obrador respond to that? Ah, okay. bueno, he says, so then, tur uh, turn me, uh, complain about me. So, so say it in an uh, international tribunal. Y internacionales. And international, national and international. Y yo voy a and I will sh um, compare notes. No se para atrás. I, have, I am not backing down. Lo han amenazado. Y Obrador está, este, dice, bueno. And so they threatened AMLO and he said, oh, okay, well. Here it goes. Si me vas a por ser por dejar if you're going to accuse me about being delinquent by letting him go, libre a, un criminal, a presumed criminal, I am going to defend myself y voy a and I will expose lo que no ha dicho, que la what I haven't said. That the DEA was participating en directly in Mexico without authorization of the Mexican president. ¿Y qué es peor, ¿Qué? And what is worse, finally? ¿Es más what is more of a crime? Una u otra. One or the other. Entonces, ahí se un poco para atrás. And so there, they kind of backed off a little. Pero sí, vemos un rompimiento. But we do see a coming apart. Vemos un limite, un, we see that he is now limiting tiempo, for the first time in a very long time la de la de la DEA, the limitation of the actions of the DEA y, claro, también, de la CIA y también, and also, of course, of the CIA del de and also the embassy of the U.S. Pero, este, de todos modos, ¿no? But in any case, but they need to recognize that it's getting harder, that the President Obrador is becoming hardened against the U.S. So he says that's all for today. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you because there's a lot of questions about what's happening in Mexico and... Uh, Just so you know, I mean, you know, we all know that the DA gets involved in stuff. But um, in Mexico, they believe that um, the DA has a lot of uh, uh, a lot to do with with the crime that's happening in uh, Mexico. And so they want him out. And so uh, they need to get out. <laughs> okay. anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, hugs and kisses. Like and subscribe, um, and if you want to see them in English, you got to go to the English AMLO Vision link that you'll see at the bottom uh, where the description is, okay? Uh, just pick the links that you want, and uh, I'll add the link to this video, too, in case you're curious, um, you know, as to uh, where this uh, came from, okay? Thanks a lot. Oh, and I'm also going to include the link for the... Uh, Uh, one that he uh, went to uh, for the um, uh, American people at the uh, Senate or whatever that was. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.